Turtles do seem like an animal that would do well on Roshar. Does Shinovar have any to burgle? Getting ever closer to Dragonsteel Nexus! I'm looking forward to seeing Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, Dalinar's butt, Moochie, Chris, Mithi Caron, Gallant Aegis, the son of James, Lexar into Lap, and or 42! And Carly, but we'll get to that. Chapter 27, Second Zeth Flashback. This is the second half of the first reading that Brandon did at New York Comic Con, so we've had this for a couple years now. Zeth's mom comes back with a shovel after being notified via messenger chicken. Since he's the one who found it, Zeth has to decide between blasphemy or familial displacement. It's hard to get a blind sheep to make that type of decision. It's a rock fact. He settles on blasphemy. You can clearly see how well suited he is to later Skybreakerhood. Tell me what is right and I'll do it. Then the raid horns sound, and his mom puts the rock in a nice wooden display case. Definitely not as nice as the ones from Dragon Woodshop, who's actually sponsoring this video. Stay tuned for a special deal. Chapter 28, Radiant Gears Up, Armor, Pattern Blade, and Testament as a Shield. Confirmed shape changing from a dead spren. There's two shard blades among the ghost blood agents, and they retreat with efficiency. Would you become the prey? Shalon yells through a loudspeaker, which is cool. She grabs their attention with her claim to have seen Mishram. They'd probably be really interested in her sketches. Ayatel pops off the anti light bolt, saw that coming, and Shalon dismisses her armor and expels her stormlight out of an abundance of caution. Not sure what it would do to shard plate, but mixing the two void lights was explosive, so that would be something to be avoided in a person. In comes a team of Windrunners through a stone-warded hole in the ceiling, but Mraze, Ayatil, and Lika, the other Malwish man, seem to else call away. Maybe Malwish is based on Dutch, as Lika is actually a Dutch name. The else calling looks different than when we saw Yasna do it at the end of Words of Radiance. Enlightened Spren do funky things. Now to Kaladin and Zeth. Seems the flashbacks are going to be framed as Zeth story times to Kaladin. Tell me about your childhood. He appreciates the alien vibrance of the Shin flora, but his cultural biases show through when it comes to the people, infantilizing an entire nation. Does that region seem darker than it should? Ha <laughs> ha! We're here! Yes, it does. It does seem darker. There are ten monasteries, one for each blade, except for the missing ones now. Taln, Yezrians, Ishar, and Nails. Though Taln's is on world, the Stonewalker's adventure in the Cosmere RPG should answer some of those questions. They decide to camp for the night before investigating the apparent unmade. Stew time! We'll see if the Bridge 4 experience loosens up Zeth a little more. Goodness knows he could use it. Unlike Dragon Woodshop! Yeah, that was a terrible segue. But really, Carly's great. Especially if you just got the Words of Radiance leatherbound stuff, Dragon Woodshop creates handcrafted wooden display stands and decor that make your books, figures, and memorabilia look amazing. I mean, come on. Whether you've got a few prized pieces or a full shelf, their products really help bring your display to life. Plus, they're offering a special discount to you viewers! Use the code SHAFO. S-H-A-F-O, for 5% off with free shipping on USA orders over $75. Head over to dragonwoodshop.com to shop and find out! My own, my love, my own, my, my.